let's watch it. There we go. Is there a sound? Oh, there we go. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look. Look at that. How good does it look? Like the water and the character and everything. Right? It's so nice. It is so, so, so nice. Oh, we get to see so much more. Like, holy shit, this looks fantastic. Wow, right? Is this our game? <laughs> he does have a man bun. It's adorable. <laughs> oh, I love them. They're the same model from the Shadowbringers. Uh, Questline in Kaluja. I was just doing that the other day. Excuse me, that's gorgeous. Why is it so pretty? Hunts, of course. <laughs> so nice. Like, look at the foliage density. So many flowers. <laughs> Rothgar! It's, it's beautiful. I can't wait for Big to answer. <laughs> 
Jesus. <laughs> is that what the limit break is? Okay. Okay, so I would like to replay it and I'm just going to I'm just going to let it play in the back uh, as I did want to to talk about a few things. Like uh, first of all, yeah, my my current setup does not does not allow me to play Dawn Trail. <laughs> hence the the reason for uh uh hence the reason for upgrades in that are very much necessary. Um, I'm not much of a complainer, like, when it comes to, I guess, games in general, like, going from, I guess, all of the, like, old-looking retro games and whatnot, like, I can, I can go through anything if the story is good, which is how, I guess, I started with Final Fantasy XIV, but with Final Fantasy XIV, I've never really felt like the graphics were bad, because they were... I don't know, like, something can't be bad if it suits what, I don't know, if it suits my style of game. And Final Fantasy XIV has always been that thing for me. It, it doesn't need to, it doesn't need to look super realistic. It doesn't need to be, I don't know, just hyper high quality if I'm enjoying being there. And I think that that's how many people felt as well. Um, I try not to be nit picky probably because i don't know like historically i've never really suffered from having to have like the most i guess high-end gear that can help me notice these differences in games which i guess is changing this year <laughs> since obviously i'm gonna have to get something um but overall i love what they did and if, if anything i think that they're going to just you know, be able to please a lot of people who do care about these little details. I, I mean, obviously I do. Like, look at this. This is just, this is just gorgeous. There is, there is nothing that I can say, nothing bad that I can say about the quality of the, of the game, the way it looks from the benchmark. Like, everything that I see is an improvement. There is more foliage. The water has much higher quality. The beasts, like the and the NPCs themselves, they their graphics are improved. Everything looks much much better. I'd like to think that this is also a little bit of a preview into um into some of the job actions. Like there are some that I don't recognize, so <laughs> that's where it's coming from. We need a PS6 to play the next expansion if this keeps up. I mean, I I think that PS5 is going to be very good at uh, bringing these changes uh, like to light. I suppose um, I do have a a PS5. I just don't have a the game on it per se, and I don't really know how to play with a controller. So if worse comes to worse, like if I for some reason don't have, um, I don't know, don't have a PC by Dawn Trail, which I doubt because I think I'm well on my way <laughs> of uh, of getting it. I think that that is always a good alternative, but at the same time, that means that I would just have to get the game on PlayStation Five as well. But I don't think that's gonna be uh, that's gonna be necessary. I'm not saying that my laptop can't possibly run 14 it can probably run it on lower settings but look at the quality of this trailer like this game is not meant to be run on on low settings if you're just basically going back home to you know to yours yet and if you're starting a new chapter i don't know that's at least that's how i feel about it and that's why i made it made it a goal for myself in the first place but yeah, this this looks gorgeous. Like, look at it. It's so nice. Thing I can't help but think about with Don't Chill is Blue Mage, since it's in the lore that Blue Mage is from the New World. It would be cool if we got some side quest flavor for Blue Mage lore or something. I mean, maybe. Why not? I don't, I don't know anything about it, sadly, because I haven't leveled it up yet. But they've historically uh, connected 
um, like races to their like origin, uh, like regions, like the way they did some flavor text with uh, with Aura in the steps. And I think there were more examples of that. Like I, yeah, I, I totally see it happening. So yeah, I'm, I'm very excited for this. This looks very good. I love it. 